aboard Star White. I hope you find these videos interesting. Thanks for watching. One change we made in Star White's cabin in the interest of safety was to put locks on the floorboards in the main salon area here. Uh, if you've ever been out in really heavy weather, you know how things can get thrown around. And uh, we've had some experiences in the past offshore where floorboards have actually gotten tossed up and into the air. So we've added these locking floorboards. It's a simple procedure. Lift the handle, turn it 90 degrees, pull up, and the floorboard lifts out. This is the locking mechanism here. It locks underneath that center cross piece. And there's a small tail on the back of the board here that locks under that cross piece. So, like so. Drop it down into position and latch it. This is what the floorboard lock looks like. The important thing to keep in mind with these floor locks is you do have to have a certain amount of thickness to your cabin sole and your floorboards in order to fit these in. They do require a cutout and recessing in order to be mounted properly. The lock mechanism, the bar here, is adjustable. It can be put anywhere up and down on the shaft. The floorboards in Star White are made with laminations of teak and maple. They're approximately three quarters of an inch thick. In order to give them strength so that they wouldn't collapse down the middle, it is necessary to put backing plates on them. So we've installed these pieces of plywood across the width of both the front and back of each of the floorboards and then installed the locking mechanism. The rear piece also serves as the lip that fits underneath the cross piece in the floor. Here you can clearly see the required thickness of the floorboard slash cabin sole in order to recess this handle correctly. The handle assembly is an inch and a quarter deep from the bottom of the assembly itself up to the flush mount. And then there is an additional post down below on which you can adjust the height of the actual closing dog. Something I've observed over the years and always found frustrating was the position of the support post for the table on most settees. Most of the time you find the support post smack dab in the middle of the cutout area. And while there's nothing wrong with that, it tends to interfere with foot space for whoever is sitting directly across from the post. So on Star White, we elected to move the post more towards the center of the boat, leaving foot room back here. This is what our post looks like when it's slotted into position. The bracket on the bottom of the table is also offset towards what would be the inboard edge. When the table is mounted, the leg is out towards the midship portion of that mounting platform, leaving foot room for everybody sitting around the table. We found that there are a couple of unexpected added benefits to this particular mounting position for the table, in that the table can now be rotated into different positions. In this particular arrangement here, it adds significant amount of counter space for working in the galley. Being able to easily rotate the table makes getting in and out of the settee from either side quite simple. We've installed a second table base in the cockpit for alfresco dining. 